Welcome back, everybody. It's time to lock down another Sunday booster cracking. Merry Christmas, everybody. Hopefully you guys had a great holiday yesterday and enjoyed your nice weekend. And I am very, very excited for this week's Sunday booster cracking because I made a promise to y'all and I intend to keep it, even though it took me a long time. We are opening up the decisive battle of Valhalla, one of the rarest sets in Force of Will, a very, very expensive set to find sealed and unbroken. Singles of these cards are ridiculous in price. There are some awesome, awesome cards in here, and I was lucky enough to get two of these bad boys. So I promised you guys I would open up one of these when we got to a thousand subscribers. Again, thank you guys very much for hitting that goal. I wanted to hit it by the end of the year, and we did it. So thank you guys very much for the support on the channel. And this is the little gift to you guys and to myself to finally open up this box of the rarest Force of Will set ever. Let's take a closer look at it, shall we? Look at this awesome, awesome box, so sharp. Awesome artwork in this set. Really excited to find some awesome pulls. What are the big hits of the box? What are the big pulls that we will be going for today? We're looking for Dark Alice. We're looking for Isis in the full arts. We are also looking for Narlathotep again and Loki. Classic, classic throwbacks to all these awesome J rulers that we just saw in Game of Gods, the most recent set. So it's going to be awesome to look at where the cards were at then versus where they're at now and hopefully we find some good pulls we pull a loki we pull the male version of loki in this one maybe and you know i gotta get me my narlethotep but there's i'm just excited for this thing it's gonna be an awesome set to go through and let's not waste any more time let's open this i know some of you are probably like why are you opening this thing it's so much more valuable sealed and you would be right you'd be absolutely right but again i have two of these boxes I don't know if I'll ever open up the second one, but this one, I told myself I had to do it. I just had to do it to just go through and officially check myself off the list of opening every single Force of Will set in existence that has come out so far. This is the last one. Decisive Battle of Valhalla is the last one on my list. This completes my mission of the last two years, basically. So let's open it and see this sucker. All right, we got our basic ruler pack. Very nice, the classic Valhalla basic ruler pack. Let's go through that really quick and see what our promo card is. I don't even know what the promo card is in this one. Oh, it's Satan. Oh man, Hi. Satan, God of the Fallen. Look at that card. That is so sick. Oh my gosh, I didn't realize that was the, the buy a box for this thing. And I think, you know, we've seen everything else from this. There's nothing too crazy. We got our basic rulers and stuff okay we got soldier of war pretty cool looking card uh let's see is there anything else yeah we got our magic storms da, 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 da. soldier of war again okay yeah that's it and we get some resonator cat tokens too in here pretty cool okay we got our nice promo card which is awesome man i'm gonna be sleeping like everything from this box it's ridiculous almost everything has awesome value in this set so even like just the commons, uncommons, things like that are still going to have a lot of value. But look at this box and look at the pack artwork here. We got Loki, male version Loki right here, or androgynous Loki, I guess, maybe a little bit. But these are the packs for Decisive Battle of Valhalla. And yeah, let's get started. All right, very first pack of Decisive Battle. Let's do this. Ah, man, I'm going to, this might be a longer video because I'm going to want to take my time on this one for you guys. Ren uh, what is it? Renaissance, 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 I can't say that one today. Oh my goodness, Whirlwind Technique, starting off strong with not being able to pronounce stuff. Tiger of Kunlin, Pygmy Hippo, Soldier Ambush, Sand Dragon, Angel of War, Wrath of the Flame God, Rare. Okay, what's going to be our first big hit here? We've got Gawain, the Swift Knight, Full Art, just an uncommon, but hey, all right. Whoa, there's no, like, there's nothing at the end. There's no token or anything on the back. It literally just ends with your Full Art. Crazy. All right, next one. Pretty interesting that there's nothing behind the Full Art there. Pretty interesting. Maintenance. Okay, we got Suit Sprite. Okay, Overflowing Knowledge. Hey, there's female Loki, right? wonder how it works on this one. Someone asked a question on one of my videos of how it works. If you guys know the backstory, leave a comment below. Let us know what happened to Loki and how she was switching gender so much. All right, Angel of Sadism. Percival, the Shining Knight, looking a little bit retro in this. Pretty cool. We got a, yes, Shiva. I forgot she was in here. I actually yeah. bought the single of the full art of her because it's an awesome, awesome freaking card. Shiva, God of Destruction. 
look at the freaking artwork on this thing. If we get a full art, it looks really good. So that's our super rare, a really good hit. Uh, not too bad, I should say. Soldier Ambush Common Full Art. All right, no big hits yet, but let's keep going. I say that, but you know, a lot of these cards just have really good value, so I've, we've probably made a few bucks, you know? I know Shiva, even in the full art, isn't too expensive. She's maybe like an $8 card or something. The Angel of Treasure, beautiful artwork on that one. Huge Toad, Dragon's Flight, Calico Cat, Oh, Valkyrie of Victory, we need to get her to full art. It's not even available in TCG Player. That's how, like, hard it is to find the full art of her. Pretty insane. We've got, ooh, what is Angra Angraboda? Giant of the Setting Sun. Weird, weird card. Interesting artwork on it. Full art looks awesome, though, I will say. And our super rare full art. First one, Berserker Chamimi. Very, very cool. I like, I like that. I like this guy. He looks pretty cool. The Mimis, whatever they are, the Chamimi tribe, I guess, or whatever these guys are. Usually not a fan, but this one looks pretty decent. Oh man, this is going to be a long one. <laughs> We're only a two packs in going on our third. Oh my goodness. Snipe Away Myth, Demon Division, Acolyte of the Sun. Ooh, wow. Look at that beautiful artwork. Fluidity. Very cool. Very cool. Summons. We got Set, Commander of Destruction. Very nice. Shadow of Kronos. Kath Sith as our rare, our little kitty cat Sith. Pretty cool, like it, like it. And, ooh, rare, relief through destruction with Shiva taking on everyone, it looks like. Dang, that is awesome. Awesome, awesome artwork there, that is sweet. All right, next one, let's maybe go a little faster. I don't know, this is a decently sized set, so we haven't like run into a lot of like doubles even, it's crazy. Bewilder, Forest Meditation, Concealed Kopesh, good one to get in the full art, I believe. I'm looking vampire, dope artwork on that one. Air, Valkyrie of Mercy, give me all the Valkyries. Loki, Giant of Darkness, Utagard Loki, Giant of Darkness. Yo, he's all, he's got all types of forms, that's crazy. We got Alkalite of the Sun, common, probably not a great one for a full art. It doesn't look like anything special, you know? It's just kind of a random common one-off. Whirlwind Technique, Renaissance, Renas oh my gosh, why can't I say that one today? Renaissance, 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 Renaissance. Oh my gosh, wow. Don't know why I couldn't get that one out earlier. Gretel of Misty Woods, Tiny Fire, and Water Dragon. Yo, like that artwork. That is sick looking. Jiraiya the Toad User. Very nice. Any Naruto fans out there? True, Giant of Destruction as our rare. And then Uncommon Clockwork, Clockwork Girl. Very nice full art. Very cool. You know, it's a fancy little girl. She might have a little bit of value. You never know. She's holding like a magic stone right here. She's got it encapsulated. Interesting. All right. We still have yet to see one of our big hitters here. There are no J rulers in this set either. At least that I'm aware of from TCG player. Um, I, we just got super rares and rares to go off of. So Dark Alice is a super rare. Uh, Isis is a super rare. Things like that. Angel of Zeus. Oh, yo, recognize this artwork? I recognize that artist. That is a Great to see them doing work before the set that I spotted them at. Gawain and Cayuga Sealed God of the Moon. Oh, give me the full art of this. Oh, I forgot Cayuga was in this too. But look at that. Look at how nice that is, man. She's always got, always got some awesome, awesome artwork. So that is a good super rare to get. Behind it, okay, just a common Tears of the Fallen. Pretty sick looking, but it's just a common, so let's keep going. Guys, do you have any other history on this box? Like, were there god boxes or god packs in this one? I have no idea. Was there any other thing that is really cool about this set that I might not know about? Brunhild's Wrath is a dope looking card. Dragon's Flight, Messenger of Odin. Yo, that's sick. Fallen, all right, we're starting to see a little doubles. All right, super rare, Fenrir, final form. Look at how sick that final form is, that is freaking awesome okay super rare and okay just another common summons in the full art this one looks a little faded and weird honestly interesting next one let's do it we got the flame soldier sitting on top donut drone undeath bewilder let's get centered a little bit skeleton horde awesome and there's Sigrun, Valkyrie of Victory again. Oh man, I'm just in love with that artwork. It's so cool. Immortal Commander. Our rare is Adam in Fairy Tale Land. Interesting little rabbit. And behind it, a rare. Yo, okay, the back to back right there. Full art Adam in Fairyland. Fairy. Oh, it's Fairy Tale Land. Fairy Tale Land. What was I saying? 
Fairy Tale Land, full art, rare, interesting back-to-back -back one there. I would have rather seen a Cayuga back-to-back -back or, you know, a Shiva back-to-back, -back, but it was a rare full art, so we can't complain too much here. Dispel, we got Whirlwind Technique, Monstros... Trosophy? Trosophy? Is that spelled differently? It looks like it is. Shadow of Cronus. Sometimes the text, like, makes words just all in my mind. I don't know. Desert Miner. Dope card. Like that. Chant of Tr Tranquility. As our rare, very, very nice looking Cayuga, Kaiguya, or however you want to say, super rare. We got, ooh, whoa, haven't seen this guy before. Kenshi Tensin, God of Flame Four. Yo, he be A. He be like looking real, real extra right now. Like, dang, he's got some like freaking lightsabers and everything. Holy crap, that's sick looking though. All right, into the next. Let's do this. Come on, we gotta go a little faster now, I think. Always start off slow and get through some of the stuff we haven't seen, but now we're seeing some double ups here. Hundred eyed one. Oh, cool. Oh, Isis, last of the ascendants. Super rare. Full art, full art, full art. Please give me a full art of this card. Look how dope she is. That's so sick. Just as good. Same artist, I believe, as the new set. I want to say. Looks very similar. So let's see it. Okay, it's just a monstrosify, monstrosify, there it is, there's a word, as our common full art, so nothing, nothing too crazy. Back at it, again, let's go, we got the Snipe Oni, or whatever it is, it's an Oni, right? Snipe away me, or it's me, I don't know. Sorcerers of the Moon, Mechanical Bishop, we got Soldier Ambush, the Skeleton Horde again, Water Dragon, Jiraiya the Toad user, Ah, uh, we got Giant of Destruction again as our rare. Give me some different rares. Ooh, Gung here, the true spear. Yo, look at how similar. This is great to go along with the Game of Gods openings we've been doing because you can kind of compare what the older sets had all our characters at. So Gung here made a reappearance in Game of Gods, the true spear. Very nice in this set, though. Which one do you guys prefer? Which artwork do you prefer? Let me know in the comments. Whoa! I might like that one a little bit better, honestly, the one from this set. The other one's dope, though, too. I, it's, it's a tough decision. It really is. All right, we got Summons. We got Gretel. We got Angel of Zeus. Gawain. The final act as our rare. Uh-oh, things are ending. And, ooh, hey, look at that. Tiny Fire and Water Dragon. Alert. Now, I don't think he's worth anything, but that is a cool one to get because his artwork is pretty lit. Like, I'm not going to lie. It looks freaking awesome. Okay, we can't get discouraged because we still have a lot of this box left to go. We're gonna get something good here. Forest, Blacksmith, Fallen Angel. There we go. We got Captivating Kunichi, or whatever her name is. Weird Cat. We got Bassett in here that we want to go for, who's also a furry cat lady. You know, they were hitting all the furry marks on this set, I guess, a little bit. Uncommon, though. We got Lucifer, Leader of the Fallen Angels, as our super rare. Dope. All right, we're hitting all the big hits that we need to get in full art, basically. So this is not bad, though. Not bad. Let's see it. Another common forest meditation. All right, all right, all right. I got you. We get the commons. We're getting them out of the way. Opening up another pack. Here it is. We got maintenance with the mech man over there. Sorceress of the moon. Floridity. Beautiful card, man. Look at that, man. There's so many cool cards in here. All right, Gung here, the true spear as just the normal rare this time, and behind it, <laughs> yo, Athena, deity of harvest and corruption, yo, full art, super rare, this is a really good hit, this is top five most expensive cards in the set, it's like Dark Alice, Isis, Athena, Naraletatep, and then a couple others, but this is huge. <laughs> Huge, huge hit. Look at just how awesome this is. Very similar. This is the same artist that gifted us with some really awesome secret rares from some of the other sets. I forget the names of the other ones. I think the artist did Athena in a secret rare as well. Uh, so if you guys like the secret rares in the other sets, this is the same artist that did it. Very, very cool card. There's like an awesome little pattern going on in the foiling, which you don't typically see. You got that little background foiling looks really sharp. This is a very, very good hit. All right, we got our big hit. That is perfect. Uh, I don't know how many full art super rares we're going to be gifted in this box. Maybe there is a cap or limit in this box for the super rare full art, so probably is at some point, but that is a fantastic one to find. 
Vlad, the insatiable, dope, dope card looking. And then we got Lich, the resurrected cleric, as our rare. Uh, he looks pretty lame. Don't like the artwork. Pretty drab and dry. Behind it, rare. Suter, the explosion giant. He ah. is sick. Dang. He's straight up like boss Anubis right here. That is freaking dope. That is a great, cool looking, freaking rare to find. That is sick. Price wise, I don't know, but it is just a cool card to, you know, gawk over a little bit. So we got the tiger here, Fantic of Grief, Bewilder, Maintenance, Fluidity, Angel, Valkyrie of Mercy, the Calico Cat Shigigami. Very nice artwork on that one. Behind it, we got Neo Ragnarok. I wonder what that means. I mean, obviously, Ragnarok, it's the end of the world, but. Neo Ragnarok. I wonder what's going on with that. And Uncommon Immortal Commander Full Art. Ah. Yep. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Give me another good one. Don't be greedy. Don't be greedy. Come on. You got gifts for Christmas. There's no reason to be greedy today. You know, there's not. All right. You have enough. You bought freaking every freaking single set of Force of Will over the last two years. We don't need to be getting greedy. Maybe a little bit because it's the most expensive set and I spent a lot of money on this, but we're, we're, you know, we're gonna look past that. We're just gonna have some fun. Cross our fingers. A Lady Huang, the Concealed Expression. Very cool looking, let's see it. Common, Mechanical yeah. Bishop. Yeah, I guess I kind of deserve that a little bit, right? We're going in to the next one here. Let's see it, let's see it. Did anybody get Force of Will for Christmas? Did anybody get gifted with Game of Gods or some other set or a cool card? Promo card, you name it. Let me know in the comments. What'd you get? Did you get any Force of Will? Destruction, Lord of Vermilion, super rare. Yo, he got it. That's some sick artwork, too. Look at that. Dang. All right, behind it, we got a common. Snipe away Mimi over here. All right, all right, all right. Not too crazy. Okay. I was going to say not too bad, but that one probably is not a great one. You know, might still be like two bucks or something, though. Honestly, commons in this set still can have some decent value. Brunhild's Wrath, Sandora, Blacksmith, Loki's Watchdog, Watchdog Fenrir. Look at his baby boy. Baby boy Watchdog. And then we saw his final form, Angel of Zeus. And we got Light of Keranos as our rare. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see it. We got Alkalite of Shiva. Yo, that's weird. It is an uncommon full art, but what the heck? That's a weird looking creature. Ooh, I don't want to like, just turn that one upside down and leave it alone. Shiva, why you got such an ugly helper helping you out, huh? That's a creepy little creature right there. Fluidity, we've got Brunhild, Fallen Angel Vengeance, the Captivating whatever. Athena's Love is our yeah. rare right here. Look at that. Holding the skull, burning eyes, glowing purple. Yo! Let's go, Shiva, God of Destruction. That yeah. is freaking awesome. Just taking this card real quick. Just go ahead. That is a phenomenal card. Dang. The detail, the oh, the arrangement of it, conceptually, it just looks freaking amazing. What a fantastic super rare. I know it's not crazy valued, but this is one of my favorites from the set, for sure. Oh, right. A good Shiva hit right there. We went from her helper, and then that helper, I guess, even though it was ugly as heck, helped us out and got us the Shiva full art, so pretty good. Pang Tong, Clockwork Girl, and then we got Wrath of the Flame God rare. Didn't we get this one already? I think we did. Light of Keranos, full art. Yo, the foiling is tripping balls on this one. Her hair is foiled, her dress is foiled, her freaking everything is foiled on this. Look, can you see that? It almost looks faded and weird because of how much foiling. Like, usually they'll separate the background from the character and foil the background over the character. This one's all just like a weird mesh and mosh of foiling and it doesn't work well for this one not at all maybe they're testing something out next up let's do it all right we got fantic of grief whirlwind technique renaissance sword of lament messenger of odin and we got vlad the insatiable we got ankra boda giant of the setting sun again as our rare behind it pang tong pang tong who the hell is pang tong we don't want no uncommon full art Pang Tong, Maintenance, Pygmy Hippo, Soldier Ambush, Alkalite of Shiva, and we got Loki's Watchdog again with 
a Bergmelger, what is it? Bergmill, Bergmere, Giant of Eternal Ice. All right, very nice, very nice. And a Futma Shuriken. Futma Shuriken. Okay, just a common, just a common. All right, let's go a little faster here. Try to finish this up. We are getting there. We're getting there right now. We're almost through it, and it's going way too fast, I feel like. We got Giant of Eternal Ice again. Okay, let's see it. Demon Division Common. Dope artwork, though. That's pretty lit, Demon. Common, though. Common full art. Give me one more big super rare before we end this box here. Come on. We got the Mimi, the Sora, the Sandora, Alkalite, Pang Tong, whatever. Invitation of to, invitation to Purgatory. Rare. Ooh, Angel of War. Felig? Felig? I don't know, but that's sick. Nice looking full art. Beautiful artwork. Foiling isn't the best, but it's not bad. It's not as bad as the other one we just saw. Hit or miss on this set with the foiling. It's kind of interesting that they did like weird stuff on every single one almost. Kind of interesting. All right, we got Sand Dragon. Then we got Sephiroth, the Blueprint of Life. Beautiful looking tree there. Pretty dope. And that is a super rare too, so not too bad. Bang, we got Explosion Common. Yeah, just an Explosion Common. All right, probably nothing. Ooh, I'm running out of time and memory on my camera. I'm gonna have to switch over and go to the... Start filming anew after I clear this one out. Vlad, Insatiable. We got Godly Aura with Narlethotep making an appearance right there. Check her out, looking pretty sick. We got a rare, whatever, Godly Aura, but let's see it. Yo, okay, Lady Huang, the Concealed Expression. Full art rare. Let's take a closer look here. That's not bad. That's pretty cool. I like it. If it, it reminds me of like uh Shang Li from the Shang Chi Shang Li? Shang Chi. Shang Chi, the Marvel movie. That kind of gives me those vibes. Pretty cool. Can I squeeze in one more pack before I have to hit record again? Let's see. Donut drone. We got Monstrosify, Sword, Fiery Vengeance, and Jiraiya. Let's see. Yo, dude, we're getting all the big hits in the non-full arts. It's kind of crazy. Narlathotep, the Devouring Messiah. Yo, she's cool, man. She looks so cool. All her artwork in every set looks super awesome. So that is a super rare Resonator Cthulhu High God. Very nice. Bang. It's just a fluidity. Not just a fluidity. It is a fluidity. It's a beautiful card. And, oh, kind of glad I got this one because this is just too sick to not have such a awesome artwork of a card all right i had to stop and reset so i can actually keep filming here a little bit for some reason it gives me a cap of like 30 minutes to record and then if i stop and then hit record again it gives me like an extra 15 minutes or something so i don't know what my phone's doing but that's how it works and that's what i work with machine corp very cool just a rare and a huge toad common full arts Okay, Huge Toad, I see you. Bang, all right, let's do this thing. We got the Fantic Dispel. Wow, don't bend these cards, man. Be gentle. Pygmy Hippo, Angel of War, Immortal Commander. There's our rare Relief Through Destruction. Shiva, Shiva, Shiva. Very nice. And, yo, all right, Utgard, Loki, Giant of Darkness. Looking fresh, looking like a dope hollow foil full art. Very nice. Just a rare, man, I feel like we should be able to hit one more super rare, but this is a very nice one. Boom. We only have five more packs, guys. That is it. Crazy, man. I mean, I did take my time with this. I feel like, uh, you know, I did crank through about probably when I'm finished with this, a 45-minute recording. So once I edit that down, hopefully I can get it around like 25, 26 minutes for you guys. But hopefully you guys have enjoyed it so far. If you did, make sure to leave a like. Thank you. I appreciate it, y'all. Kath Sith, the catty Sith girl. And... Wrath of the Flame of the Flame God. Of the Flame God. Yeah. This one looks sweet, even though it's like foiled kind of weird, but it looks sick. It kind of does. It's got like these little spots on it right here of this little like stamped almost. Kind of interesting, but it's a rare full art. We'll see what it goes for. Bang, bang, bang. Here it is. There we go. Explosion, Alkalite, Undeath, Dragon's Flight, Fluidity. Yeah, I'm glad we got that in full art, man. Calico. Valkyrie, come on, come on. We need to get her. If you're going to give me any uncommon in the full art, give me that one. Invitation to Purgatory, rare, and the Hundred Eyed One. Yeah, okay. This one actually might. I can't remember if I saw this having a little bit of value. I think it does a little bit. Three packs. Let's do this. 
Ooh, on to the final three. What can we see? What can we find? Will we get one more thing? Let's see. Concealed Kopesh, Commander of Destruction, Shadow of Kronos, and we got Alice Zeus Incarnate. Super rare again with the big bangers and the non full arts. Give it to me. Let's see it. Overflowing knowledge. Loki chilling as the female now. You know, she's good. She's good. She's just a common though. So, second to last pack. Here we go. Let's do this. Come on. One more big hit to close us out here in these last two packs. Let's see it. I'm looking vampire. The Valkyrie of Mercy and Godly Aura again as our rare. Okay, okay, okay. Double up on that. With the Skeleton Horde Ford. This one might have a little bit of value actually, potentially. I'm trying to think back and remember what random common uncommons in the full arts had value. This one might be one of them. I guess you'll see by now. The last one. Bang. There it is. We got it open. We got the sprite on top. Tears of the Fallen. Let's get one more awesome pull. Overflowing Knowledge. The Skeleton Horde. Sand Dragon. Angel of War. Super rare. Perfect Loki. Perfect yeah. Loki super rare. Guys, this is crazy how we keep hitting all the ones that we want to be hitting in full arts just than normal. I guess it's not too crazy, but I want to be hitting those full arts. Can we clutch up with this last pull? Now, these will have value too. You'll probably see them in my picks of the day because they still go for a decent chunk. But now we're just going to close on a, a common, a dope one though. It's Brunhild's Wrath, common full art. But um, artwork is cool, but it's not the extra super rare that we wanted. All right, let's do some pulls of the day here. Starting off with our non full art pulls, we've got Athena's Love. I believe this one has value. Fenrir, Final Form. Ah, oh, man, it's such a good card for the full art, and I know it has value in the full art, so I'm thinking this one will too. Uh, and now we're going to get into all the good character cards that we know we wanted in the full art, but we didn't get, but we just got in the regular version. So we got Shiva. Again, maybe only like five bucks, but Kaigua, Kaigua, Kai, Kaiuga, whatever. I don't even know, guys. Sorry. I don't know. Let's go. Let's keep it. All right. We're just going to pass it. Isis, Last of the Ascendants. Very good card. Probably going to be like ten bucks. Again, Lucifer, maybe eight bucks. Narlathotep, again, like ten, maybe. Alice, eight. Perfect Loki, maybe 10, 12, I don't know. And then now we're gonna get into, oh, did we miss one? No, we didn't. All right, Fluidity, very cool. Probably, I don't know if it has good value, but it's just one of my favorite cards that we got in a full art. Light of Kernos. Uh, as much as I hate the foiling, I think it does have value. We got Kenshi Tenson, God of the Flame. Just guessing here on this one. And then we've got Gung here. The True Spear should have decent money on it. And we've got Suter, the Explosion Giant. Dope card. How can it not be worth something, you know? We've got Loki, Giant of Darkness. Of course, very cool, very cool. And we've got one of my faves, Shiva, God of Destruction. Oh, I love looking at this card. But, of course, our big pull of the day was Athena, Deity of Harvest and Corruption. What an excellent, excellent card. Good $40 right there, I believe. Super sick, and man... What a fun set. And hopefully you guys enjoyed it too. Thank you so much for watching. And again, I hope you guys all had a great Christmas. Go have a happy new year. And of course, we're going to have more videos on Wednesday and one coming up after New Year's as well on the 2nd, I believe, that Sunday. So stay tuned for those. It's going to be great. If you haven't checked out Wednesday's Go Goes Crazy Bones video and you like those, go check those out. But expect more Force of Will and more epicness. Guys, again, thank you. It's been a great year. We hit a thousand subs. It was awesome. And uh, it's just been, yeah, I'm just really thankful for everybody coming on the channel, sending me good comments and good vibes all the time. So thank you guys. Uh, expect more and I'm going to keep grinding this for y'all. So thank you. Merry Christmas again. And we'll see you in the next one.